I am very confused by this. I'm confused by the whole situation Nicola put themselves in. I know it's not really a shocker to hear confirmation that the Badger is not actually coming out, but the fact a company is literally allowed to be on the publicly traded stock exchange and at the same time take orders, take money from people, take reservations, as well as paying influencers to promote their website, promote their brand, promote their company, tell everyone the Badger's cool, it's this new next generation hydrogen fuel sell pickup truck and you can order yours today for a hundred dollars or maybe five thousand dollars you do all that hype and yet it's all riding on someone else building the thing like, I know Nicola is getting invested by the Department of Justice and the SEC, but isn't that kind of a red flag in the first place? To be like, yeah, we're gonna collect money for this rendering we came up with under the circumstances that someone else might build it for us. But if they say no, then it's not happening at all, and I guess we'll refund you. But if any of you have reserved a badger, and especially those of you who spent $5,000 on that reservation, I highly encourage you to get in contact with someone at Nicola quickly and make sure Sure you get that money back because if they're not issuing refunds automatically I have a feeling you might not see that money again knowing Nicola at this point I would not be shocked if they just issued refunds based on a you have to request it basis and if you forget to request a refund then maybe they just get to pocket some of that money wouldn't be the sketchiest thing they've ever done that would probably be taken by the semi truck rolling down a hill and filming it saying that it's in motion and then Trevor Milton going on and unveiling and saying how it's not a pusher and this is totally real and it's super real truck and oh man the irony the insane irony that is those videos Nicola uploaded to their channel talking about how real the Badger is even going as far as to say as talk is cheap but specs don't lie Ugh. God, oh man, it's so awkward. Why would you get this far? Why would you get as far as to make reservations for people before you even have the vehicle prototype ready? You can't even say in a closed box this could work. I mean, the GM video of the Hummer EV driving around, yeah, most of that is CGI, but at least there were some influencers that had some kind of hands-on video to experiment with what the Hummer EV would look like. I know that that model was probably not a functional one that did all the things that they were promising the Hummer EV could do and probably could just roll across a parking lot fairly well. But at least they had something, you know? And I even think that's a little bit sketchy, but simply the fact that they were willing to collect money from people expecting for another OEM to enter the picture and build the vehicle for them, I find particularly sketchy and the main reason no one should have ever taken the Nikola Badger seriously because Nikola's chairman, including Trevor Milton, who is now gone, were on the record saying that if some other company doesn't build the Badger, then we're not gonna build the Badger. You know, because that just inspires creativity, right? We came up with some Photoshop renderings and now we want someone else to build it. But we'll take the money for it, and if they don't build it, then it's not gonna happen. Wow, you guys really like to get things done, don't you? Kind of takes away all of the energy and all of the hype that a pickup truck could have potentially had if the creator of the pickup is basically just saying, well, someone better do it. Essentially, I have as much authority as Nicola did on the subject. It would be as crazy as me coming up with a rendering of, you know, my own personal dream cybercar and then posting that on Twitter and saying, if you want to reserve a cybercar, just go to my website and send me hundreds of dollars, maybe thousands of dollars to reserve your place in line. But I'm going to have a little fine print at the bottom that says I will never have to actually deliver the vehicle to you if a company doesn't offer to build these vehicles for me. Doesn't that sound sketchy? Doesn't that sound weird? Because that's basically what Nikola is doing here. And in case you're wondering why the stock is plummeting so heavily, aside from the Hindenburg research scandal bringing up tons of valid criticisms of the company, it's because GM has essentially almost completely backed out of their deal with Nikola. They no longer want to stake in the company, they no longer want to build the Badger, and now pretty much the only thing left that GM and Nikola are doing together is supplying hydrogen fuel cells for their semi trucks which are not even supposed to start testing until the end of 2021 and that means production won't even start till the end of 2022 but honestly knowing it's Nikola I wouldn't be shocked if these timelines get pushed back further because they were telling us years ago they were going to have a hydrogen fuel cell semi truck operational by 2020 and I remember earlier this year them saying that they would have a battery semi truck operational and working at the beginning of 2021, deadlines just keep getting pushed back further and further and further. So I have all kinds of doubts around this brand now, even more so than I already did. And the even sketchiest part about all this is the only thing left between GM and Nikola is, is Nikola buying fuel cells from GM. 
okay? It's not even like GM is giving them fuel cells for free. They are literally just saying, yes, Nikola will be a customer for our fuel cell technology. But doesn't that make you wonder, after all the hype Nikola gave themselves to their fuel cells and their tech, their core technology that powers their hydrogen-powered semi-trucks, all of that hype and now they're buying it from someone else? Yeah, I have very little doubt in my mind that basically they don't have any core technology, they don't have anything that separates them from the rest of the market, because otherwise, why would they be interested in buying battery tech and fuel cell powertrains from GM? Like, why would they need that in the first place if they had all this great tech in the first place? Basically, what it means is Nikola has very little unique and iconic technology that's exclusive to them, and the confusing part to me is I don't know what they're supplying anymore. If GM is providing the fuel cells and the batteries, Nikola is providing the external design? The external designs that they were caught buying from other companies and a lot of their renders are borrowed from other semi-truck companies in the first place. Basically, not even that. Not even the external design is really exclusively Nikola's. They got that from other people. And that means Nikola is providing the logo. I'm pretty sure that's the only thing that they're adding to this solution. And by the way, when you have this type of horizontal integration and you have one company providing this and another company providing this and you're building your whole brand on partnering with other people and everybody else doing the work and having to do very, very little work yourself, that basically means every partner along the way is going to want a piece of the final price because GM's going to want to get paid and the semi-truck companies they're borrowing designs from want to get paid and the factories that they're going to be using to build these hydrogen trucks are going to want to be paid and Nikola doesn't own those factories so basically you can't really be that cost competitive when every company along the way is taking their fee so that's why I have a lot of doubt in their hydrogen fuel cell business model because electric semi trucks especially those built by Tesla I think are going to prove to be very financially viable plus they'll be able to exist and they can actually drive around on streets and be self-propelled. Nikola is basically one of the first publicly traded logos. They basically just slap their name on things that they don't really design or innovate themselves. So if you want my advice, Nicola, it would be for one, change your name. First of all, this stupid association with Tesla acting like you guys are somehow similar to them. It just comes across as scammy and it's clear that you're just trying to get people confused into thinking that Tesla stock is past its prime and it's too late to buy into that. So you want people to buy your stock. Clearly, as the stock price reflects, no one's buying that. And two, I would stop talking to the press. I would stop talking to everyone, really. I would just go insanely quiet, except for maybe, I guess, your occasional earnings call, but even then, there's really nothing to talk about. Don't focus on what people think of you. Just focus on developing some tech and prototyping and testing and bringing vehicles to market instead of spending so much time talking to media and telling everyone to buy your stock, because without delivering your products and without actually making something that people can buy and use, no one's really going to believe this prediction you've backed yourselves into. So get to work. Stop talking. No more promises. Don't announce anything. I would definitely redesign your website to get rid of all the crap that you clearly never made a functioning prototype of. You should have maybe one or two semi-trucks in development and then get rid of everything else on the website because it's clear you never made those things and you're probably going to request another OEM to build them for you. So don't start building hype for it if you're not going to make it yourself. That's where I stand on Nikola. As you can tell, I'm kind of fed up with them. And no, I'm not surprised that the Badger got canceled. I had no belief at any part in time that the Badger was gonna happen or that the Badger was real. And also, the design is pretty dumb anyway. It looks so clearly like just a basic Ford Raptor or a Toyota Tacoma that just has some extra LED lights on it and that means it's the future. Clearly not someone who actually knows anything about mass production of vehicles and I still believe that anyone who thinks hydrogen is the future is clearly just not thinking very hard about making hydrogen accessible and full of refueling station across the country because it's insanely expensive and you don't have to be a genius to realize that hydrogen doesn't make sense when the cost of batteries are dropping and the energy efficiencies of electric motors are getting so much better. Basically, the Tesla Semi, which is rumored to be going well over 600 miles with a full payload, has killed the need for hydrogen fuel cell semi trucks anyway. Let me know if you guys disagree, if there's some point of Nikola I'm missing. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have an excellent rest of your day. Take care.